Hi Pisces, I hope that you guys are all doing great. So this is your love reading for the second half of April. Let's take a look and see what energy is coming your way in love. What are your messages from spirit? What do you guys need to know? Okay, I love you. If you're new here, my name is Lynn. This is Passionate Heart Tarot. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's jump right in Pisces and see what energy is coming in for the second half of April. Okay, you guys, before I begin your reading, just want to take a moment to the white light, the Holy Spirit. You know what's funny is, um, just as um talking to spirit this is the first card that comes out uh the ace of swords so i know that communication is coming your way someone is going to make something known to you like declare something to you the truth the whole truth nothing but the truth and um there's this message that comes through from spirit is they'll try to break you up then the next card out is the three of pentacles in reverse this is really like the commitment that you have with someone because i i see where for those of you that are in a relationship you have someone that's gonna try to come between you and your person i mean that's just what it is and then it doesn't really surprise me to see that the third card out is this three of cups energy in reverse because the message from spirit is they'll try to break you up so some of you quite literally it's um someone's advances that you might have to fend off Sagittarius is energy is coming through. You guys might be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could have that moon or rising, or you guys could be here cross watching this. So it's the energy of something trying to come between you and your person and break you up. For some of you, that's quite literally another person. For others of you, it could just be like certain energies, things that you find are challenging the connection for the second half of the month, trying to come between the two of you. It's something that you can overcome if you choose to do that. Some of you might have to be stronger than you've ever been because this is a lot of advances. To me, this attention feels like it is very unwanted. Do you see like that's what those wands represents? Um, communication, reaching out, pursuing, trying. And why does this person have to fight it off? To me, that's why I feel like it's very unwanted. So there is something that's, um, could be someone reaching out to your person, Pisces, and they're not telling you about it. I feel like it's going to come out, though, because where this Ace of Swords is like, God, uh, that is clarity, that is truth, and nothing is being held back. So if you didn't know that someone is interested in your person, you might find out, or that could even be your energy where you feel like you have someone that's pursuing you and it's unwanted, you might end up telling your person about it. Okay, that's what I can see, but it's, it's something that's going to come to light. It's the truth that's coming out. But the thing to know is that this is not wanted attention. So even if your person does have someone that's coming on and they're coming on strong, it feels like it's not wanted to me. Okay, let's look further into that energy to see how this person feels. I mean, that's, it's just like, oh my God, they're going to try and try and try. Do you see where this is exactly what these wands are? It starts out here because that's um, the pursuit from someone. It really shows me energy and like the way that this person is putting a lot of energy, focus, effort, trying whatever they can to get through to the other one to reach the other one and you see where it comes to them like this is their energy it's coming in pisces that's what you need to know so it could be unwanted attention um from someone and it's coming to you or it could be unwanted attention coming to your person 
Or when we look at it from another perspective, if you are the one that feels like you're putting in all of this effort and you're trying to like, um, get someone to notice you or you want someone to be yours. I can see where this person does not want um, to be pursued. That is the harsh truth of it, but they don't. They don't want to be pursued. I feel like, um, of course, let's take a look even further and to see how they're going to react. But I feel like this is, this is up front. The first thing that they're going to do is push the other one away. That's why this energy is coming through in reverse. The Eight of Wands is um, whoever's sending out all the, of that attention, I think they're going to feel like it's not coming back to them. I think they're going to feel like um, if they keep doing it, they might end up even feeling quite foolish. That's why this Empress's energy is coming in reverse because I feel like this is the pursuer. And they find that the attention that they're putting out there, the efforts that they're putting towards someone is just blocked. It's ignored. Literally, like this person might get blocked because you see how their their efforts is like trying to block it. So they might get blocked on the phone, um, through their profiles. If they keep coming on strong like that, I feel like that's what's going to happen. Okay, and then Pisces, your energy is coming through. You could be dealing with another Pisces. You could have that energy moon or rising. Let's look into the three of cups because that is the energy of like you, your person, and something or someone trying to come between the two of you. Okay, let's look there. That's interesting to see. Look at that energy coming through. Um, oh, that's that's interesting to see because this is like the energy of success. Um, I know that at first this person, like they're going to push the other one away. That doesn't change. That doesn't change. But then where there's all of this truth and clarity that's coming out, I feel like that's a huge twist on the reading from Spirit because it's like um, someone might be successful in being able to break these people up. But you know, the beautiful thing about watching the readings is like you have a heads up. You have a heads up. So especially if you're the one that's being pursued and there is still something in your energy that's vulnerable when it comes to this person just know pisces that i see this energy coming through of this person's efforts being successful even if they're not at first that might change that might change and they actually might be able to infiltrate this connection come between uh you and your person or vice versa that is what I can see because it's the energy of like putting in so much effort. This Sagittarius energy as the overall energy is like someone who's very motivated, very energetic, even very creative in their strategies. And they're, they're just going to keep on pursuing and trying. And although it doesn't get them where they want first and they're going to get turned down, I feel like for some of you, eventually, the more that this person tries, the more successful they will be. Okay, um, because for some of you, that Three of Pentacles is in reverse. So that is like a, a, a tie, a connection that gets broken, promises that get broken. The truth is coming out and it won't be able to be unseen. I want to look further into that Ace of Swords energy. See, um, I feel like someone might give in to the pursuits. They might give in to the temptation. Someone here is going to, but then they're immediately filled with regret. And they're in this place where they feel um, like they should not have done what they did. Sagittarius's energy is very strong here as well as Virgo. I wonder if you guys have a Sagittarius that's in the mix somehow. You could be a cross watcher or you could have that energy moon or rising Pisces. The Queen of Cups is coming through around the Ace of Swords. I feel like that's the energy of giving in. 
it's the energy of um someone who see the thing of the thing about it is um i feel like a lot's been going on and this isn't the first pursuit this is one of many and it's like testing the waters still like being open to it somehow but there because that's what it is they're still open that's how it's able to come through someone's gonna give in to these temptations they are and i know that they're gonna be filled with regret afterwards they are some of you you might have even already gone through this with with your person you know, maybe you're the one that got tempted or maybe your person uh, was susceptible to this person's like energy, like constantly pursuing them. And if you're wondering what's going on with them now, I see where they're in this place of so much regret. They feel like they've dug a hole for themselves and they don't know how to get out. They feel uh, like they just gave so much of their power away and I can I can see where this person might even feel really ashamed because of that choice. So, that also gives you that also gives you a heads up. You know what's funny is like when my throat starts to close up during the reading, it's because someone is not speaking like um but that truth is about to come out. Okay, Pisces, that's what I can see. All right, I want to look at this three of pentacles energy. See, um, someone is going to get what they've been waiting so long for. Because I feel like it's a person who's invested a lot in the other one, invested a lot in the connection. And where you see this energy come in reverse, it's like what they wanted is coming to them. You have to really guard your protect. You have to really um, guard and protect your connections for the second half of April, Pisces, because there's actively something that's trying to come between you and your person and drive a wedge between you. Um, so just be aware of that. Some of you might already know who this person is. Like their energy has already come in. You could be keeping quiet about someone that's popping up from the past or someone that's currently interested in you and you're already in a connection. Um, or that could be going on with your person because, you know, tarot shows us what's going on, what's hidden. But that energy is here. And I see where there's going to be like a major lapse in judgment where the judgment card comes in reverse around like breaking promises someone here is at risk of making a huge mistake they are you might even want to you know don't accuse pisces but you might even want to to just bring up the topic to your person check into the connection and see how things are going with the two of you you know finding out if um anyone has like reconnected with them from the past because uh, just be ready for the answers though that's the thing don't ask questions to answers that you don't want because the truth is gonna come out if you ask those questions that's what I can see. So it might even prevent this from happening if if you do. You know, you of course, you can't control what anyone does. But I feel like it's important to take steps to protect your connection. If you feel like this person belongs to you, I mean, I would definitely check in and see what's going on with them. Or if you're a cross watcher watching for your Pisces, I, I would even say that that advice is true for you as well. Because there's just such an active pursuit that's here. And I just feel like someone is on the verge of really making a bad choice and, and, um, like breaking promises the three of pentacles represents like a vow it represents a contract it represents like something um that you've built with someone else that ties the two of you together and i feel like this has been going on for a while this is not something that's new um with the way that this person has been pursuing the other one 
That's what I can see because this is a lot of efforts. This is not just that one shot. This is something over and over and over again that they've been trying to push away and fend off. So I see it being a mistake if they choose to give into it. So you might be watching this Pisces or whoever's watching this thinking like, yeah, that's my situation. Should I? Should I? I can see that if you do, it's going to feel like it's a mistake. It's going to feel like it's a mistake and I see you ending up feeling bad about it kind of ending up wishing that you didn't that you weren't so impulsive in the moment all right that is what i can see as the potential outcome for that energy okay pisces so for some of you this energy is very clear that it's literally another person that's trying to come between you and your person and, and break the two of you up but for others of you it could just be like certain energies behavior temptations um going back on like promises breaking promises things like that so that's why it is also important for you to protect your uh, connections for the second half of the month just because I feel like you're going to run into challenges and if you're ahead um, and aware that those challenges are coming in you can switch the energy you can change the outcome of things because um you know not everyone is in a, a connection where they've dealt with infidelity and cheating and things like that for some of you, yes, but for others of you, it's just the energy that's coming between the two of you. Because why? What is this person trying to fight so much? You know, that's up to you to ask yourself, what are these temptations that they might give in to? Because I can see where they have a very difficult time in the temptations. There's a strong chance that it wins. Okay. All right, Pisces, because that could, that, you know, that's a highly personal question. Could even be some things that like go on with you that maybe you made a promise to with your person that you wasn't going to let that come between the two of you. Just know that the energy is here, but that gives you a heads up. It gives you strength because you can have a plan for what you would do if it does come your way, the way that I can see towards the second half of April. Okay, you guys, just know that I send you all so much love and light. I truly, truly do. Just want to say thank you so much for being here with me for your love reading for the second half of April. And also, you guys, I started a Patreon page. I think that you guys will really enjoy that. I'll link it below. Um, check it out. There is exclusive content on there that you will not see on YouTube, uh, daily readings, bonus content, extended versions of my love readings. All that can be found on my Patreon. I hope that you'll check it out. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for everything. I send you much love and light and I'll talk to you in a few days.